Hi there, Richard Matthew here now. Do you struggle to build your team internationally? Maybe right now you have no one in your team, or maybe you do, but in the future, one of the big benefits of our industry is having a company, in your company, is having a team all around the world. That way you have a nice bit of variation in the types of cultures and people, and it's also cool because you're gonna earn more money. So stay tuned and give you some international team building tips in a second. Okay, welcome back. So there's two kind of factors that I wanna, or the tactics I wanna share with you right now in today's video that I really feel will help you build an international team. I've done this myself, I have team members, I'm grateful to have them in every single continent uh, right now and, and that's, that's really, really cool. And people ask me, how did you do that? How did you grow your team internationally? Because it's great leverage, right? If you've someone who has a great local team, but then you can point to someone overseas, that looks as perception is big business to the people who are watching you. Wow, your, your team, your own personal team is in Asia or is in Europe or is in America. How did you do that? And you can start to build that recognition and that attraction of prospects that maybe right now you don't have. So number one, we have the internet, right? You know the internet is available 24 seven and in pretty much within reason, right? Every single country. So one of the ways that I built internationally was to actually look for international prospects using social media. And I'll make sure that somewhere around this video or on this blog post, you'll see a, a more detailed training on actually how you can find and what to say to people internationally to bring them into your team. I've managed to do over, recruit over 100 new team members with this method. But just for this quick video, you can find international people using Facebook. You can take a look at their profile, you can set yours up the right way and attract those people, get conversations going, and of course, common sense dictates. If you're surrounding yourself and prospecting international people, if you're doing it the right way, you're bound to be able to recruit some of those into your team. Number two, here's one way that actually requires a bit of extra work, but it can happen very, very quickly. You'll get a lot of growth in a certain country, and that is organically. If, be honest, hold your hand up and say yes or no, are you actually focusing on building a team right now? Are you procrastinating or are you actually taking action? Because if you're sponsoring new people into your team, organically, they're gonna be getting into their networks and their networks and their networks and eventually that will lead you to a different country. I have people in Australia and the way that that happened in my personal team was that the, someone who I brought into the team brought someone else into the team who knew someone in Australia. Now we have a growing, thriving team in that area of the world. So number one, you can actually instigate and dictate that action by using social media. Or number two, you can actually just go and build and go about your business a traditional way, but keep your ears and eyes open for working with your new team members uh, lists and then building abroad as they actually find those people for you because of their existing relationships. So I hope you got some value from today's training. We're here in Florence. I'll give you a little look around in a second out the window there. It's a beautiful city. Go create a day in life that counts and always have more desires than excuses. So let's take a little look outside. It really is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I've got the window shut, but you can still see right down there, little cobbled streets, and I'll put a highlight video of this together uh, really soon, so if you wanna take a look at our actual trip, I'll make sure you can see that clearly. But I hope you enjoyed today's tips. Feel free to share around with anyone you feel it would benefit, and I'll catch you really soon. Bye for now.